so good to be filming in front of my camera again. Um, yes, I am filming on my camera. I found a way to get the footage from my camera onto my tablet. I still don't have my computer yet, but that is not what you guys care about. You guys are already looking like Nadia. <laughs> What's the tea? So, it is finally October and we are in full October Halloween vibe swing here at Full Style. You guys know that it's my favorite time of year. This is one of my favorite months in the year. I am so freaking excited! And I thought I would start dressing up just a little bit early for my videos and posts because <sighs> why not? So today's vibe, I was going for like a dark Minnie Mouse. I wanted to have a dark lip and kind of just make her dark. But you know what? I don't, it's me. It's, it's me and I, and I went adorable. I don't know what happened. I don't know what turn I took. I don't know, maybe a black lip would have helped and not like a dark red wine. It's not important. We're going to go with it because I love the look. So today's video is for all of my fangirls and fanboys out there. You want to show your geeky fandom pride this holiday season. Give yourself a little cosplay, a little Halloween costume vibes as you start off, as you get closer and closer to the big day of Halloween. We go trick-or-treating, we could do a bar crawl, and dress up to our hearts and no one will look at us like we're crazy earth than we already are not important so let's get into it today's video is going to be a fan's guide to halloween now like i said this is for all of my geeky fandom nerds out there who love a little cosplay a little dressing up this is taking something as simple as a t-shirt that has your favorite book or movie on it or your favorite um show and just showing your pride and dressing up for holiday season you can wear this to work you can wear this to school you can wear these things to church and you just really really just be in church cosplaying for jesus yes you're gonna slay for jesus that you go cosplay for jesus Y'all don't make me no bad. I'm in a really good mood. Don't make me no bad. Anywho, guys, it's the new hair. I think the new hair got me in my, it got me in my feelings. It got me that, it got me that. Anywho, these ears, y'all. I know my head big, but dang. Anywho, so I'm going to take something as simple as a t-shirt or a cardigan and just add a little spice to your fall and Halloween wardrobe so that you can just get your life and to show how much you love your favorite show, movie, books, or just how much you love dressing up for Halloween without looking too crazy on an everyday, like on a Tuesday, you know what I'm saying? Like, just coming in on a Tuesday, you just like, whoa, she did that, you know, and Halloween ain't for another two weeks, so it's, you know, we're gonna get into it. Everything's on my tablet now because I'm still without a computer, you know. Okay, so, go away. Starting off, I'm gonna start off with this Harry Potter Astronomy French Komodo from Torrid. Absolutely love this French Komodo. It's that velvet burnt, velvet, it's a velvet burnt out material kimono. So it has the shimmer of those three different colors mixed with it. And the astronomy part is like little star constellations there's, that are in the Harry Potter icon. So there's a cauldron, there's the, um, the wing. What's, dang it, Nadia, no! Okay. The wing thing, go to snitch, the go to snitch, the go to snitch, there's cauldrons, there's Harry Potter um, lightning bolt, there's a sorting hat, um, there's all these little icons within the, the kimono. So from the outside, if you look afar, it just looked like a burnout kimono that's in these pretty purple, um, bluish, teal, pink colors. But as you get really close, you really get that little sneak surprise of the Harry Potter icons. Something nice and fun to throw over something as simple as a line dress that you can wear to work or throw over a pair of leggings or jeans and a tee or a tank for school or you have errands to run. Just a little something to show your Halloween pride or show your love for Harry Potter. So as you all know, the Harry Potter fandom is having a really, really big year this year. Harry Potter turned 20 this past August. And to celebrate, we got all new illustrated cover art for the Harry Potter series. So the books got redecorated. And then there is the release of the second Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find the movie coming out this November. So Harry Potter is really, really big as always is for the past 20 years. So I'm really, really excited. So you can show that you're here. Oh, also with The Cursed Child coming to Chicago. So yeah, Harry Potter is really big so you can show your Harry Potter fandom pride by picking up this awesome kimono and all these um anything I mentioned by 
Torrid is online exclusives, so you want to hurry up and place your order so you can have it in time for Halloween. Second cardigan um, I want to talk about is the Her Universe Dr. Torres hoodie. Now, this Sunday, the Sunday that this video will be uploaded, it is a new season of Doctor Who. And this season is like any, is not like any other season because this is a regeneration season. And this season we are getting our first ever female Doctor Who. I love Doctor Who. I grew up watching Doctor Who. Actually, that was one of the things my mom and my dad kind of connected on when they was um, friends, when they was in grade school. They kind of spent their time after school on the weekends watching Doctor Who episodes. And Doctor Who has been on the air for 50 years. We've had 12 doctors and this is our first female Doctor Who. So I'm freaking Oopa do it excited so you can celebrate and show your pride by wearing this cardigan, this hoodie cardigan over, like I said, um, a pair of jeans, a tee, over a pencil skirt and shirt. If you're at work or you want to wear it to church and it's a little cold your church. I absolutely love this. It has the um, a signature blue color that the TARDIS is and red and it has like a silhouette of the TARDIS going around the border at the bottom and around the back and the collar of the cardigan this is again something simple and you can just show your pride and anybody who is a uh, doctor who fan would know what you're wearing you guys can just share that little insight amongst yourself um last cardigan i'm going to talk about is this nightmare before christmas drip cardigan this is from torrid the doctor who cardigan is from hot topic i will leave links to all of the items i'm talking about below as you guys know how i do with my shopping guides so this Nightmare Before Christmas drape cardigan is from Torrid. I'm loving the charcoal gray and the deep darker of the lighter gray together. I don't really think that's a black. I think it's a dark charcoal gray and then like a light smoky gray compared together. You got like these silhouette outlines of the graveyard of Jack Skeleton's heel, the curl heel with the moon. You got Jack Skeleton's face. And then I think you even got the boogeyman or the little kids. I think that's either the boogeyman or little kids detail in the cardigan. This is just a nice knit heavy cardigan. To again, throw over anything that you're wearing. If you're inside a place and it's a little chilly, a little cold, or you're running errands, and it's a nice little windy, chilly day, you just want a little extra um, cover piece to wear on. So freaking cute. So next, moving on to top and t-shirts to wear i because you guys know i love a good t-shirt i love a good fandom tee i have quite a few of them and i plan to get more so these are the torrid slim fit tees and what's special about these these are our printed with the original cover art from the harry potter book series so you have the source with stone you have the chamber of secrets you have the goblet of fire prison of Azkaban. i believe they have the order of the phoenix half-blooded prince and deadly hollows but i only have the three um, well, yeah, I only have the first four here on my tablet as well as photos in the video. I absolutely love these. These, a tee like this is a really good way just to show, hey, I'm a fan. I love this movie or this show or these books and I'm here to show you that I'm going to wear what I want to wear because, okay, son. So moving on, I'm um, going to talk about Moncloth. I love Moncloth. Moncloth, again, anytime you want to get this black girl magic in your life, let a sister know. So Moncloth is the go-to for anything vintage, retro, that cute, quirky vibe. I absolutely, quirky vibe. I absolutely love Moncloth. So this is their doubly delightful sleeveless top and pumpkin. Really, really love this top. It's so freaking cute i'm loving the silhouette of the evil jack o lanterns on the peter pan collar and i'm really loving that contrast of that purpley blue piping that goes a ribbon that's going along the collar as well as the sleeves this would be so cute tucked inside of a skirt you can have a, a fun skirt i think they have one that's like pumpkin printed skirt or you could tuck you could wear it over some jeans and pair a little pumpkin earring with it i mean like you could have so much fun with a top like this again this is an elevated step over the cardigans and the t-shirts where you get the little hint of a halloween a little hint of cosplay versus i'm gonna go dress as a pumpkin well versus I like this. It's a little different where you wear the difference from the t-shirts and the cardigan, which is a little hint of cosplay, a little hint of your fandom geeky side. This one is, I'm a, I'm a lot of geeky, I'm a lot of quirky, and I'm going to go dress not as a pumpkin, but pumpkin S. This is very pumpkin aesthetic vibes. 
So, this other t-shirt is Supernatural Season 13 poster tee. And this one is from Hot Topic. I love Supernatural. I love Supernatural. I love Dean. He can get it anytime. Love Castiel. He's so adorable. And who doesn't love Moose? Like, who doesn't love Moose, a.k.a. Sam? Like, come on. Um, however, I did fall off. I fell off. I haven't watched the past two seasons. Don't come for me. Especially if you don't watch all of them. Don't come for me. Anywho, but I still love this t-shirt. Again, this is just a little hint, a little touch of, hey, I'm a fan. I'm here. I love it. You know what I'm saying? Hot Topic has a lot of fandom geekish stuff even more so than Tori and you can they even have like the jacket that the dad wore um what was the dad's name shoot David John John Winchester they even have his jacket they have a skirt that has all like the stuff on it speaking of skirts we're gonna go back to Hot Topic and Harry Potter real quick and they have their um Tori has a line of Hogwarts houses right here. I have the Rave Ravenclaw suspensive skirt love these they have the plaid details and the and the house colors as well as the house logo monogram um, Embroidery stitch on the side and it has a suspenders top so you can uh, remove the suspenders or wear them at it This is a step above a cardigan and a t-shirt. You're like, yeah I'm a really huge fandom of I'm a really huge fan of this fandom and by the way I'm in house Slytherin, so get with it. I'm not in house Slytherin. I'm actually Hufflepuff, but that's not, you know, I just, I, you know, I kind of, I vibe with the Slytherin just a little, just a little bit. You know, I, I hear Drake on Malfoy, but you know, I could kick it with him a little bit. Moving on to skirts, we have this lively vibe cotton A-line skirt in spooky newspaper from Mod Cloth. Absolutely cute. I love a good newspaper magazine print, but this newspaper is all about magical creatures, witchy vibes. It has like advertised or adverse for like potion and witch's shoes and the witch's goblet. So freaking cute. You can wear this with a button up top um, and then put on like a little, if you want to, a witch's hat. You can put like a cute little center, like a little headpiece that's a nod to a witch. Or you could just wear it with a plain tee and just have this cute skirt be the advertiser. You can dress this up and create an actual costume and this as the focal piece. Um, moving on is their Hint of Hunt cotton skirt. This one has a beautiful kind of dark macabre scenery, witches and bats over a town. There is some dark lighted up jack-o'-lanterns. There's a scary cat. There is a silhouette of a house and the lights in the window. Really, really cute. Love this skirt. Again, this can just, you can just wear this with a simple top or sweater and just have it as a focal point. Or you can build your costume around this thing. I think something like this would be a great investment. Not an investment piece, but a good piece. Say, say, hey, I'm going to spend the $30, $40, $50 on this skirt. And then I'm going to go to the thrift store. I'm going to put stuff out my own closet and build my costume off of this. You don't have to go and buy an entire costume and spend a hundred or so dollars creating a costume whereas you can just really get a good piece like this and then spend like you know ten twenty dollars building up around this piece to create your costume that is really good for any students anybody on a budget like myself another good way to build your um, Halloween costume is these velvet vibe skater dress from Modkoff it comes in burgundy it comes in black these are like um, skater dresses with short sleeve you neckline really they really seem like they're fun flirty pieces that you could definitely build off your wardrobe the black one you could pair with a tights and a jacket and put on a witch's hat and you could be a witch you can be or you don't have to use the actual witch's hat you could just dress in all black and be one of the witches from american horror story coven the burgundy one you can what can you do with the burgundy one hold on guys in a minute The burgundy one, you could be a witch too, okay? You could be a cat lady, you can be, I can't think right now, y'all. Anywho, these are great pieces that you can invest in. You can spend $40, $50, get these pieces, and then again, build your wardrobe, your costume around this. I, You can use this, like I said, to be a rich, or you can just be, I don't know. The next two dresses are What the Heart Flaunts mini A-line dress. That's so cute and macabre. And then, and creepy camos. These are two adorable little um, A-line dresses, almost a bodice, sweetheart neckline, and these creepy um, silhouettes. One is of a witch 
and a hat. One of them is of a cat. I think the other one is like the moon. And then that's one in the skull and the top hat. And then you have the macabre, is which is just a whole bunch of um, like Halloween. There's a raven from like Edgar Allan Poe, the raven, Nevermore. There's like a poto and there's like a pumpkin that say trick or treat. Again, these are fun little quirky pieces that you can wear on their own by themselves and just be unapologetically you or you can use these to build around your wardrobe if you just want to just go as your favorite character a favorite character from your show this riverdale veronica large black lace dress from hot topic is for you beautiful black lace dress has high collar and then it has a full collar neck collar with the words veronica large it's stitch and cursive on the white collar it has lace sleeve as well as the overlace i think it has a, a black underdress and over and overlaced and overlay with lace um you can i don't really watch riverdale i hear it's fantastic I'm, i haven't got into it it's not that i don't want to i just haven't got to it yet okay it's there's a lot of stuff on tv so don't you come for me okay all right and then you got netflix and hulu and amazon y'all i don't want to hear it okay but this is a this is cute you could dress it up dark you could just throw it on and say, hey, I like this dress. It's a cute dress. Or you can just go out full vibes with your Riverdale Veronica vibes. Okay? All right. Thank you. Don't come for me. Don't try it. So if you want to go something real full out vibes, if you're looking for a really quick fix Halloween costume, these dresses from both Torrid and Hot Topic are perfect this is a nightmare before christmas sally skater dress i like this dress because it has like the entire costume right in it it has the sketching hemline the patchwork clothing that sally is known for as well as the corset faux corset lacing top you can wear this with a pair of either fishnecks or those lattice strap stockings a great boot throw on a jacket do your face like sally with the stitching around the around the mouth area and you're good to go that's easy that's simple you didn't spend a hundred dollars on a dress on a costume and they also have the for a little gender vision i absolutely love this they have the jack um the pumpkin king jack skater dress as well this is complete with jack's hotels i love the black and white stripes and then again that full corset lattice lacing in the front and also jack's heel where he stares upon and he sings with the moon the curly heel it's the little pumpkins along the line again you can wear this with some fish tights some tights some boots do your face like a skeleton and you're good to go you didn't spend a lot of money on your costume you have a simple costume that you could wear to school you could wear to work if your job is more relaxed and they have like a halloween party or you could wear this actually going out trick-or-treating with your kids or your niece or your nephews who i'm going to be kidnapping my little cousin taking her places because i want to go and i want to go and then i'm, I'm just gonna share with her you know she just come Anywho, or you could wear this to like me a bar crawl as i'm also doing that too um speaking of quick fix not quick fix easy quick costumes no. another simple way to build another costume Costume is this rib cage hoodie tunic sweater from Hot Topic. They also it also is a sweater. They also have an actual dress, a sweater dress. You can pair these with their um, black heart skeleton glow in the dark leggings. Um, again, all of this is from Hot Topic. It's all in plus size. Um, these are these have the printed. This is all black top and leggings with the print in that white of the, uh, a skeleton outline. So you have like the illustration of a skeleton. You know what a skeleton looks like. And you could pair these two together and then do your skull makeup and you're good to go. Really simple, easy costume making. I also want to talk about real quick some really fun just accessory pieces that you can add to your everyday wardrobe. Just um, you can add these to a costume. Again, you can add this to a simple outfit just to have that little fun, that little quirkiness of it's Halloween time. I'm getting into the Halloween spirit, this Halloween vibes all the way. And these are these, um, I don't know how you say that, Vanita um, show and spell earrings. These are in the Ouija board. The little, um, what's that thing called used on a Ouija board? Little thing that you use to see. I don't know because I don't mess around with boards. Those are doors that I don't need to open, okay? All right? Yeah. So whatever that thing that you use to look around the reach board and it shows you the answers, you know, you, you point to it and it has like a little thing. You can look into it. Ain't nobody got time for that. Anywho, these are really cute little earrings that you could wear. They have other little earrings like that. They have skeletons. They have a cat. They have a witch's head rope. These are from Mod Cloth. Again, Mod Cloth. The go-to Mod Cloth. Again, if you want to, you know, call me, email, let's holler. 
Um, they also have this um V Web handbag. I think I just seen this on Anna from Glitter and Laser. She did a lookbook feature in this little handbag. It's a black patent leather hobo style handbag, so it has that rounded square shape. That's two different things. A square shape with rounded edges. No. A square shape with rounded corners handbag um and it has like that um spider web it's not stitching like tucking detail so think of like a tucky a, a tucked a tucked couch or a touch headboard and it has that same that same tucked detail in the bag but it's a spider and i think it comes with a jewel spider in the center of it yes absolutely i want to pick that up and wear that all october long so anywho guys that is my video that is my fangirls guys to halloween these are some pieces that you can pick up unfortunately you're not be able to pick up any of these things in store that's not my fault i'm sorry so that's it guys this is my halloween fangirls guide these are some pieces that you could pick up online to add to your halloween fall wardrobe just to give a little bit of uh, a little bit of halloween vibe a little witchy witchy woo to your everyday pieces or your everyday wardrobe you like i said these are some things you could wear to work you could wear to class to school if your school find it appropriate um these are some things that are quick fix easy for people who are on the go who are in a hurry who don't have a lot of money you can buy a, something as simple as a skirt and build up off that or you could buy the actual dress costume thing and that could just be create your whole costume whichever one works for you so anywho guys i'm gonna let you guys go because there's other things i need to do i want to get this video edited and uploaded by sunday because i have a very very few busy next few weeks ahead because this wedding is slowly approaching and there's at a bachelorette party and there's all those type of things so i want to get all of the, my videos done before this wedding so i could be able to give my full attention to this wedding and the bride and the groom and i could be there be a good supporting friend slash um sister anywho i'm doing my outro again because i don't know what the camera cut off make sure you guys are following full style inc on all social medias that's twitter that's instagram that's facebook and as well as if you guys want to continue to show your love and support and help us and help me full style out create bigger and better content for you guys please head over to my patreon page and become a patron for as little as five dollars a month any little thing anything count Every little bit counts and it really does help out. Thank you so much guys for your kind words and your support on my last two videos as I go through this ordeal of not having my computer and working and figuring how I'm going to be able to get content out to you guys. Um, I really appreciate it. I hope you guys are super excited about the Halloween. We're gonna, I'm going to try my best to get two more videos out to you guys pertaining to Halloween so stay on the lookout for that. I love you guys so so very much. Thank you so very much for watching. Um, I hope you guys are having a beautiful, awesome day and a great weekend. I love you guys so much, but always remember to love yourself fully until next time. Happy Halloween!